All right, so uh, now we're going to get into the technology just a little bit uh, for all the geeks out there. Uh, so we use the Django 1.6 framework. Uh, we use Postgres uh, as our database, but it was actually kind of an ephemeral database. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, Postgres was, it was really, really valuable this time. The H store, the key value store, was awesome because we had to, had to do some fairly tricky things in the past to encode survey responses. Um, if you use Python, we had to pickle the responses, and then you can't query them, and all this stuff. H-score, you can actually query individual fields. So, so one thing that we asked every candidate um, is what their age was. And so we did a cross-reference. So we made sure that, because uh, we had their actual date of birth. Um, so, uh, so we checked to make sure that they weren't lying about their age on their survey. Um, nobody was. Uh, <laughs> so that was good. We, had, we were particularly nervous about it after the lady plagiarized. <laughs> um, so so uh, HStore was really useful for us. Uh, we used the Pillow uh, Python Imaging Library. Um, so if you've ever heard of PIL, the Python Imaging Library, it sucks. It's not really maintained anymore. Somebody's forked it and created something modern and awesome called Pillow. Um, so if you've ever done Python image processing, use that, not the Python Imaging Library. Um, we, oh, sorry. Okay. Jump again. It's OK. Uh, so we used a library that we uh, created internally called P2P Python. P2P is the name of the Chicago Tribune CMS. So when we were looking at the home page and you saw that River of News, we're going after the Chicago Tribune CMS. Um, we're interacting with its web API, and we're pulling out content related to the elections and then putting it on the page. Um, and then we use the library that uh, my team wrote, uh, another library that my team wrote called Tarbell. Um, Tarbell is a static site generator, but it has some pretty powerful facilities just for interacting with Google spreadsheets. Um, and so we use that to pull data out of Google Spreadsheets. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of the OAuth stuff that it has to do, it didn't work very well non-interactively. And so that was a thing. Um, so that taught us some stuff about how we can improve that. Can you, talk, can you talk for a second about how, if all of these people are putting stuff into shared Google Spreadsheets, who is curating all of that to make sure that Tarbell can read it? In a structured format, uh, we work with it. yeah. So we work with reporters uh, from the very start to make sure that the data format is all nicely structured. Um, on election night, we actually go and then sit down with the same reporters, do another kind of run through of how it's all going to work. Um, we use a lot of Google spreadsheet kind of fancy features, so like. We lock the, the header rows. We lock the candidate names. We basically lock down any cell that, that a reporter shouldn't be editing. Um, so that's kind of how we manage that. Um, sometimes, so occasionally, a bad number will pop in. Um, when we talk about deployment, you'll also see how we kind of delay that. Um, so now, so moving on to the front end. 